We're gonna be taking this KTM and turning it into a gas gas from this to this. So just to give you guys a little bit of background, KTM purchased Gas Gas at the end of 2019. They came out with their 2021 models, which were essentially KTMs with red plastics. All of the mounting locations for the plastic are exactly the same. The only thing that is different is the fuel tank. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pick up a set of 2021 Gas Gas MC250 or 450 plastics. I went over to Rocky Mountain ATV, went over there, picked up the Cherubis full plastic kit, make sure it comes with the fort guards, the airbox cover, it's got everything. It's about 160 bucks, which isn't too bad. The next piece of the puzzle, which is gonna be the hardest is this fuel tank. This is an OEM Gas Gas MC 250 or 450 fuel tank. So right now you can't buy any OEM parts for these bikes. You go over the websites and they don't have anything available. Once they do, I'm sure you guys are gonna be able to pick up one of these pretty easily. I ended up getting lucky. I went over to one of the Facebook pages and somebody was selling this off of a new takeoff and I ended up picking it up for like 100 or 120 bucks. The only other option would be to use an aftermarket like oversized fuel tank. Like I said, I just got lucky. If you guys wanna you know, try this yourselves, go over to this Facebook page, you know, post up in the discussion, you know, looking for a 2021 you know, Gas Gas MC250 or 450 gas tank. Maybe someone's got that out there. I wish you the best of luck if you're gonna try it. This is actually my dad's bike, which we're not gonna be using. We're gonna be using my bike, but it's already kind of got the red theme, which is why I showed you this bike, because A, the transformation's gonna look better, and I'm sure a lot of your guys' bikes look a lot more like this than that. First things first, we gotta get all these old plastics off the bike. So once we got all the plastics off, we're gonna go ahead and tackle this gas tank. Get everything disconnected, that way you can just lift the tank right off the bike. Drain the gas out of the tank. Next, we're gonna to wanna to remove all the bolts, the petcock, and the fuel pump. Go ahead and install all that stuff back into the new tank. Before getting everything back together, this gives us a good opportunity to really spray down and clean all this stuff that we usually don't get to underneath the gas tank and the plastics. Throw the gas tank on, hook everything back up, and we're gonna be ready to put these plastics on. it all off we got these Cherubis red frame guards and this tusk shift lever with the red tip. The plastics are on everything fit great and this thing looks awesome. Now it's time to throw some graphics on here to really finish the look. The company I use is called Core Moto. If you guys are interested in this exact kit you guys are seeing here or any of the other kits I use in my other videos or your own custom kit head on over to their website, send them an email, tell them Matt Berger sent you, and they will hook you guys up. Now, I already had the red seat cover, which really worked out for me, but if you guys have your you know, OEM black seat cover, obviously just leave that, or if you want this red look, this is a company called Moto Seat. They make an awesome product. I've linked them down in the description where you guys can pick up a cover just like this yourselves. Believe it or not, these rear fenders are actually the same for the MC and the EC model, which is their trail, and you guys can see that they have the mounting locations for the license plate, so we're actually gonna have to cut those off. You need to make sure to wipe down new plastics before installing graphics with some sort of contact cleaner or alcohol. I'm using an isopropyl alcohol you can just get at the drugstore. Just wipe them all the way down. That gets off any of those oils or contaminants from the factory. Now this isn't a graphic installation video, but you just want you know clean hands. You're gonna be moving around a lot. Now, you know, there's some other videos out there on YouTube that are gonna show you exactly how to do it. So I recommend watching those. This can be a time consuming and tedious process and you want to take your time to get it right. I went with a pretty basic kind of stock OEM look. We got the big gas gas on the shrouds. I just got black numbers with white backgrounds. Nothing too crazy here. Just keeping that kind of stock OEM gas gas look. And there you have it. You've turned your KTM into a gas gas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to head over to my channel, check out my other videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.